whether it's the cybersecurity conference here in Lille or the computer and data privacy conference that's in Brussels actually happening this exact same week, or even the multitude of data privacy conferences in the UK and Germany, you always run into Max Schrems. And I've had the opportunity to chat with him very several times actually at several of these conferences, but here at Lille, I finally got him pinholed and was able to do a video interview. Um, we spoke at length off camera, and this post will have a lot of more information about that. But here are some interesting points that he made. Again, just a short clip from that video interview. Yeah, basically, I think already the old directive had emotional damages in mind, but it never explicitly said it. Now, the GDPR, the new data protection rules in Europe that are going to come into force in a year, is explicitly going to allow emotional damages as well. So if, for example, there's a data breach and all your personal stuff is now at a Russian hacker, you're probably very unhappy about it. And um, you do have a monetary claim there. There is still going to be a big question what the numbers are going to be. Um, but to give you a rough idea, the Austrian Supreme Court once um, gave a person 750 euros, that's all they ask for, could have asked for more, just for, for, one, just just for, for one. one wrong information in the credit ranking um, database. So, so, if you, so if you multiply that? If you multiply that, you kind of get very impressive numbers. And I think that's going to be interesting because even if the authorities are not enforcing stuff, um, if you're on the European market, anybody can go to any court in Europe and file that. Um, especially as a consumer, you're always going to be able to, con to sue at your home court. The other thing that's interesting as well is that um, NGOs are going to be able to represent other people. Ah, yeah. Okay. And that also allows for kind of class actions because nothing in the law says that you can't represent 10,000 people at the same time. So if you just represent 10,000 people on the same cause, then you basically build a class action. So I think that's going to be very interesting. What if, are you trying to do that with that particular done. aspect yourself personally? Um, we're right now really looking into having like an enforcement NGO. That's still kind of the, an ongoing project. The big issue is really funding of it um, because you would need at least half a million a year um, to get it started and up. And the idea would really be to have a couple of tech people and a couple of uh, lawyers together in a room um, to do research, uh, like in easy terms, what are the top 100 um, Android apps really do? What and are they and sucking and from your phone? Okay. And, and then um, kind of basically hack into them, check what they do as far as you can, and then enforce stuff if there is a problem. And I think that would be very promising to really go into stuff because right now most of the lawsuits are on terms on paper, but never about what's actually happening on devices. The idea is really to probably start that in Vienna, but always not as an Austrian thing, but as a European thing. Okay. And I think we would have to have Europeans involved in it. Um, and I think Austria may probably make a lot of sense because we're such a small country, we don't take ourselves too seriously <laughs> because if you start that you know, in France or in Germany or whatever, they would always mainly focus on their own country. Okay. But if you're at that teeny tiny small, you basically have to focus on everybody else because otherwise you're not getting anywhere. And um, that would really be interesting. And the interesting thing was also that the industry in Europe was rather pleased with that idea because yeah. they right now have the issue of, of just an unfair competition. You have um, outside companies that are doing whatever they want to do. There is no enforcement and they get a competitive advantage over other companies. So especially the ones that are somewhat following the privacy rules, um, we're rather happy about that idea in the sense of let's get rid of a lot of unfair competition here. Okay.